one final blast off for the shuttle Atlantis. Slashed budgets at NASA are forcing a shutdown of U.S. manned spaceflight. The world's astronauts will now have to hitch a ride aboard Russian capsules to reach lower orbit. NASA's glory days in space may be over, but they're looking to private carriers in about 10 years' time to relaunch humans into space. The vision for commercial space transportation to low Earth orbit is a situation where we have multiple providers and multiple customers, not just NASA, but NASA, other countries, um, private citizens. In the future, NASA plans to fund two resupply missions a year to the International Space Station. It's a contract worth hundreds of millions of dollars, coveted by private enterprises like SpaceX. This California startup of only 1,400 employees launched an equipment-stocked rocket in 2010. They say a manned launch is about three years away. The Falcon 9 rocket and the Dragon spacecraft were already designed for astronauts and just need upgrades. Both of those vehicles have already flown, and that's not something that our competitors can say about their vehicles. But some challengers can boast of insider knowledge. Aviation giant Boeing has churned out NASA-approved technology for more than 50 years. We have a lot of people with a lot of experience working on all these different spacecraft uh, elements. And of course, International Space Station, you know, uh, it has big solar array uh, elements, it has uh, big truss elements, it has these big modules. We've worked on all of those. But for any American upstart to win the space race, they must beat the Russian price tag, now $51 million per astronaut per transport. That's the next frontier for Americans hoping to dominate spaceflight. <laughs>